Hi, welcome, I'm Impact Frames. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use If Pro Maker inside Confi UI, which is a tool to use local LLMs and also APIs to work with. LLMs help you to make board flows and better. The idea is to make videos, talking avatars, music, chats, all of that. So it's gonna be like work in progress, working all the time on this. And it's gonna be a continuous effort to make tools that we can use to leverage AI and make better images, workflows, have fun and all of that. So you can see here that we are using Lava, which is a multimodal model to make a haiku about this image, about these girls like a fighting an octopus in the space. And you can see uh, in the depth of space, three women daring and brave, in vibrant suits they explore. And that's the haiku image about this thing. But you can also go into Anthropic or OpenAI GPT-4. And with the vision mode, you can ask, for example, haiku is also a vision mode. You can ask to make this prompt. And you can see here that cosmic adventure, alien warriors clash, vibrant wild dance. So you can see like it changed this prompt. It changed like the reply. And you can ask anything about the image it, because this is the chat uh, prompt. You can have like different general purpose, right? So you have different profiles here. I made one that is Cortana. I have Yuka, which is a girlfriend. Dr. Claudia, which is a doctor. Delia is a hacker. Miss Emily is like a teacher for like basic school to explain like student topics like in a on very easy way. And then you have the prop maker and the prop maker image that takes an image as a prompt. Or you can use none to use like the default setting of the mode. And that's how you can use it. And then you have like uh, different settings here. These ones are for the local modes for Olama. You can use temperature or seed. And if you keep alive the mold, it will keep the, the mold on memory and you can use this when you have a low memory and you just want to be faster, right? Otherwise, it will flush the mold out and then it will load it again. It will take a bit more time and all of that. Then we have uh, Whisper Speech and we can enable it by unmuting it with Ctrl M. So I press Ctrl M in there. And you can use like a text in here. You can have the text area and put something in the text. Or you can uh, right click and convert the text input to an input, right? So you can plug that into here. And then it will take this uh, cosmic adventure, alien warriors or whatever. You can plug it straight from the response too, if you don't want to see the response. But you can plug it like this. And yeah, so you, you plug it like this. And now this thing will come into here and you can use that to make an audio, right? So in the audio, you have like a different settings. This is for the chunks. If you have a long audio, it will chunk it differently with the overlap a bit less overlap if you want. But this is like the default setting that is good. Torch Compile doesn't work on my computer, but it might work on yours. If you enable this, it will probably make it faster. And then you have the speakers, right? If you use none, it will use like a default speaker. And if you use one of these, for example, the teacher tree is something that I grabbed from the internet. It's a voice that I went ahead and grabbed for, from the internet. You can put it in the Confi UI Whisper Speech Notes. So you grab that voice and it will train it on the fly. So it's a zero shot training that it will do here with this voice. And yeah, so let me see how is this voice. Maybe I should have just made Okay, so that's the voice, how it sounds. And it trains that on the fly. And you can use like a PyMeg OGG file that is about 16K sample rate. And it will train it on that. So after that, I can push that into the Dream Talk node. And the Dream Talk node is, is a node for making avatars. And it will make a video avatar talker there. So I put an image. This image has to be a close up of the face. And then it has to be like a square image, like 512 by 512 or 1024 by 1024. But it's important to be 
as best as you can and that is like face right so it can be like a three-quarter view or frontal view but it has to be a face and then you can select like different if it's a male you select the male or the woman you select the w and then you have a neutral or any like an angry expression you have different expressions in here and then you can go ahead and just run the workflow if you run this workflow it will give you something like if it's a 20 second voice it will take like 60 or 40 seconds to complete depending on your machine if you have a slow machine it will take longer and if you have a fast processor or a fast gpu it will take a lot less so we can come in here and see like one of the results of this we can go into config and then look in the outputs dream talk and we can see a previous result wisdom in their eyes gentle giants roam at dawn memories remain we can uh, for now we can try to run one of these to show how how it works and see if it's we want to do it with Anthropic. You can see also like the reply here, what is happening in the notes in the log, giving you a new alien creatures battling in cosmic hues, galactic wonder. And now it's uh, passing the moles for the whisper speech. And I will add a bark uh, TTS also and some other notes I plan to add here for making audio for movies and stuff. But it will take a while. Okay, now the dream talk is kicking in. Okay, finish now. So it, that that was live. How fast it is, and now we can go in here and check it up in the new folder that just opened there. Haiku, inspired by the vibrant sci-fi image Kalian creatures battling in cosmic hues, galactic wonder. So the the response was a bit longer. It has it, it made include this thing. So you include instead of just the haiku included this, but that's because I I put this profile here, right? So the Cortana one. But you can put like none, and probably will be a better response from haiku on this one uh, uh, particularly, right? Also, these custom profiles you can access them um, if you go in here again. We go into Comfy and then we go into Custom Notes and you can also go into EFAI Tools. And in here I have a lot of presets that you can use. There are the embellishments, negative prompts, profiles. So we go on the profile, we open it with Visual Studio Code or with, I recommend Sublime. And there is a Sublime Code Editor that you can use. And then come in here and you can make your own. You can even see my awesome characters that I made. Actually, if you see the Delia one, that's a super character that I'm releasing here for free. Maybe even more valuable than the notes itself. And this one, it teaches you how to make like for making code, right? Yeah, I want to try to include as much as possible as I'm making it. And yeah, that's it. That's how you use Dream Talk. Now we have. Parler TTS. Parler TTS is similar to Whisper, 
As I said, I'm gonna make a Bark TTS. I'm in the process of doing it. It's a bit complex. Bark TTS is gonna be a lot faster. As you can see here, the most that, that took time was the Whisper speech because I don't have the Torch compiled in my machine. I cannot use this. I don't know why. <laughs> and here we can see Control M. And basically we did the same thing. We co converted this into an input and now we can come and instead of training a voice with this the difference is that Parler TTS is amazing because you can give it a prompt on how you want that voice to sound and if you give it like a voice like a sensual voice or a female speaker and stuff it will take that into consideration then you can go ahead and plug it back in here and you can make like chat avatar with that voice that exactly the same that we did with whisper speech I don't gonna show it right now because it's taking like a long time in the video. You can see like this video took like one minute to make that voice. And so the voice will uh, depend on how long is the text. Uh, and now we can see the other, the other notes, right? Let me just control M this. Okay, so we have a prompt to prompt node, which is for making just prompts. And if you see my previous video about this, you can use it for making prompts. So we can come into Olama here and select, yeah, this thing. We can select the model that I have. If, if AI is the prompt maker and you can do like a light warrior, right? So we can queue this prompt. you have your majestic uh, light warrior standing tall that that's the mold that i just released this as you can see it's called llama tree if ai is the pro maker this is a mold that i made yesterday so llama llama came out actually before yesterday like llama, llama came out like friday uh, and i made this saturday and this one is made with 50k synthetic data set that I made especially with uh, stable diffusion prompts. And the idea is that it will help you to improve your prompts like it because Llama, Llama 3 has a lot better understanding of the context of the input that you put and it has better reasoning, it's able to construct better prompts and on top of that I did like this 50k data set that is telling information about the lighting, the quality of the prompt so it will have like a better aesthetics and it will be less word salad and more useful words that you can use in the actual prompt and if you have, I haven't tried SD3 but if you have SD3, it probably will give you even better result because SD3 is able to understand the words and actually use them in the prompt, right? Use them in the image. I don't, I re I don't remember the name of that, how is the name, but basically it has like a template that I made especially for this. And if you have a new Solama, as I said, you can just install it with one click. If you have something like anything LLM that I was just showing, anything LLM can run Olama 3. Uh, and if you install anything LLM, it will come with Olama. And then you can just download your model, select them from the menu. I think I already explained that on the last video. Yeah, so basically, if you want to run this mall, install it in your computer, you just come in here in the link in the description, I will put it in there. And to install anything on Olama, you just run Olama run and then the name of the mall. And if you do that in Olama here, let me see, let me just put something that is, is better. Yeah. Okay, so we have it here and you can see that Olama is a CLI tool. You have like Olama hyphen hyphen help and it tells you like the different commands. You have the run and the run mode, the name. And the first time you do this, this will install the thing in your machine. But if not, you will have like, if you already have it, like me, you can just start making prompts. But the advantage of this, as I was saying, for example, Borg on Crisis, Olama before and many other malls didn't knew what Bubblegum Crisis is and Bubblegum Crisis wasn't even 
in the data set for Llama, but now it knows what even the characters are, so it knows the, the surname of the character, it knows it's in a, the setting, the apocalyptic Tokyo, maybe it could boomers and all of that okay so it has like an understanding of the thing for example when i come here and i ask phone princess it knows that i am going for a fantasy scene so it tells a fa fantasy scene a fairy tale and it takes glowing mushrooms or twinkling fireflies so you can see like it's putting this visual representation into image and it will give you like a better image if you have a decent mold like Proteus that is a super nice mold and even on other ones you will find like a super amazing uh, image at the end so if you have something in here like an antique showroom or something like that you can see it working and it will come and it will give you a response like quite quickly because it's now loading the mall again because it passed more than five minutes and then it has to load it but you can see like the the response is instant yeah that's the amazing thing of working with this so now let's go ahead and show you where to get all these models all these things because you will have to probably uh, some of them you can go into config ui you can go into the manager install custom notes look for if ai and you can see whisper speech and if ai tools right but uh, the other ones are not present yet so you can come in here in in my tools in if ai you can see we have dream talk you can just click on that and please uh, start the repo if you think this is uh, worth it and it tells you what you need to do so basically for you're gonna need ffmpeg and it tells you how to install it. You're gonna need to put the environment settings, have the things, uh, the description, how to do it, everything exactly how you have to do it. And if you are in Linux, this is how you do that in Linux, how you add ffmpeg into the path. You first sudo up update, sudo up install ffmpeg, and then you put it into your path. You download the models, put them into this place, into your Confi UI models, Dream Tool checkpoints, and that's it. So you have your models in there. And then you will be able to use Dream Tool for the other nodes. And again, you just have to copy this into your thing. So let's, let's go, for example, Parler TTS. So you can copy this, right? And then go into your, uh, let's go into the Windows side. Windows machine we can go into Confi UI and then we have custom nodes and in here you can just actually I have it here in this command so you have to move you have to change age because mine is in age but you just have to change that for C or D depending of the place where your machine is if you are installing this on a separate environment then you have to just uh, activate the environment and do pip install git uh, parlor tts so you have to install that in your machine and yeah, so we are here in the parlor tts thing and we can do cmd as i was saying cmd here and now we are in there and now you can paste that and that will install with the portable environment for Python, the embedded environment, it will install this. Because I already have it installed, probably will say it's already installed and I don't need it. And that's the way you install things with the portable version. So you can, if you have something that you like only one thing to install, you can use it this way see what else we have if parlor tts whisper speech we can uh, install it with the command in the inside the custom the manager yeah that's the way you do it the everything is like explained in here how to do all these things And that's it. I think that's all for this video. I think it's quite a long video. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you. Bye bye.